Hey guys, I feel like I haven't sat down and filmed a proper video in forever. Like, even though you've been seeing videos get uploaded, I haven't filmed in probably like two weeks now. <laughs> so, um, I have a couple videos I have to film today. This first one is just kind of like a mini review. Um, I'm not going to get like too ridiculously in depth because there's not that much I can do with this. But, so this is like a little mini review of two Lime Crime products. So the first thing is one of their Velveteens. I'm not even going to start with the disclaimer. You know, you guys know I always say that I'm like, I don't get involved in the, the makeup drama of these companies. I just really like makeup. So <laughs> that's why I got these. Um, so this was free with the order and this is the color Prairie which is awesome because this was one that I wanted to pick up the next time they had a sale on these. It is what I have on my lips actually. It's just like a nude pink. And I will give it a little swatch. If you've never tried the Velveteens, they're very liquidy. Um, they dry pretty quickly. They're definitely like transfer proof and smudge proof and everything. They smell a little bit like vanilla. Um, they're not too bad drying wise, but a lot of the colors that I've tried collect in your lip lines, which is kind of a bummer because other than that, they're a really nice formula. All right. So the thing that I ordered, this is another highlight video. Um, I ordered their Opal's highlighter palette, which has really cool packaging. Hopefully it's picking up. It's just like this opalescent, iridescent, really cool. Um, the colors are just called pink, gold, and peach on the back but I don't know how they get peach out of that one because I have it on today and it's more of like a red. Like it's really cool. It's like a crazy red highlight. But um, yeah, so it's just, they come in squares. It doesn't come with a mirror, which is, it's not a huge deal to me, but they charge like 40, what was this, 45 bucks for this and it's just a cardboard packaging. Um, so the pink, they're all very iridescent colors so there's no like um there's no glitter in it but it's very shimmery when the light hits it that is the pink one and then the gold one let me get that off my hands they're all very pigmented they're pretty smooth I mean it's not like a crazy amazing formula but I do really enjoy the colors so that's the gold one and then the one that they say is peach but it's really like a red is this one I guess it looks peach when you do that but once it hits the light it definitely reflects like reddish I don't know that's what I see on my face anyway I'm trying to get it to hit the light just right so that is pink gold and the peach can I help you, sir? Somebody wants a drink. Hold on one second. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I do really like the formula of these. They're all very pigmented. They're smooth. They blend nicely. Um, is it worth the price tag? Each one of these are 0.25 ounces. Uh, um, the Urban Decay blushes, um, just offhand, this was the closest thing I could think of in size. These are 0.23 ounces, 6.8 grams, so pretty similar in size. I believe these are $24 a piece, or 22. Um, so I looked it up so that I could be more informative here. Those, the Urban Decay blushes are $26 a piece, and this was 38. I, for some reason, thought it was 40 something, but I think that's because of the shipping. It came to like $43. But, um, for the size, you're getting three that are basically the same size as the Urban Decay blushes for $38, whereas the Urban Decay blushes are $26 a piece. So it is a pretty good value when you look at it that way. Whether or not you like Lime Crime, that's a whole different story. But if you do, <laughs> I would recommend them because they are pretty nice. Um, they're not like... Um, crazy glittery highlights so if you like a lot of glitter I mean they are like shimmery reflective but if you like glitter then 
none of these have glitter in them. They look pretty boring in the pan, but as you can see from the swatches, they're really pretty. Um, but like I said, I have the peach one on today. I'm not, I don't have any blush or anything because my cheeks are pretty red. I don't know why I'm having like a red flare up here, but um, hopefully you can see. I can't tell on the viewfinder. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to talk about that real quickly because I've been slacking on my blog and I haven't been able to like review as often as I was doing so I figured it's quicker to make a video about it so that is the highlight opals palette I'm wondering if they're gonna come out with different ones because I mean they named it opals instead of just highlights so maybe they're gonna do like a metallics and all different finishes that would be pretty cool but um, I do enjoy this so far and I wanted to talk about it with you guys uh, but that's it for now I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video